Coupon Terry. This is day three of 30 days to become an extreme couponer. So for those of you who don't have time to go to a coupon class, we're doing a little video every day that is going to um, help you to become an extreme couponer within 30 days. So if you missed yesterday or the day before, if you missed any of them, I'm going to put the links down below. You can always go back and watch them. Today we are going to learn how to put together a coupon organizer. It's very simple. Just go down to Walmart or uh, Staples, get you a binder. This one ran me, I think, like $11. And make sure that the binder zips up because when this falls to the ground, you don't want everything falling out. That, oh, that is a nightmare. I've had it happen. So once you get your binder, um, try to get one that has a, the biggest hoop in it, a two or a three. I started out with a one, which is this one, and the coupons just started exploding out of it, so I had to move up to a two. So now I use the other one for store coupons and uh, trying to organize. When I do get my list together, I put them over here in this one. But when you get your binder... Uh, make sure it zips. Make sure it has a big ring. You're going to need some of these little baseball card holders. You can find these at Staples. That's where I think they have the best deal. You can get a lot of them very cheap. You can find them at Walmart, usually up by the cash register where the baseball cards are. And once you get those, you're going to um, put it together, put your organizer together with categories, whatever is easiest for you. Now, for me, I started out my binder with breakfast items. So my first little tab pretty much says breakfast items, and then the the second one says cereal. The third one is biscuits, breakfast bars, frozen breakfast breakfast meat like sausage and and bacon. Um, so just put it together in order of what is, is good for you, how you would remember where you're putting things. You're going to need to get some of these little subject tabs like this so that you can put it on there and divide it up. Uh, get your, your tabs in there. Get your, your little baseball card holders in there. And the baseball card holders are pretty much for those little blankies that you get in the store, the ones that are blinking and um, I don't have one right here, but they're pretty small. This is uh, a coupon that Taster Choice they sent me, so I got this one in the mail. So I'm just going to put that in there under coffee. And then you have some of your printables that you had to cut out, so those will slide right in there. Now, I have a way of doing a lot of my printables. I try to print them up on one sheet. That's going to be another class. I'm going to show you how to do that. But when you do print um, them up where you got like three cereal coupons on one sheet, then you just get your three hole punch, punch it, and then just put the whole page in here instead of having to cut all those out. That makes it a lot easier. Um, that's pretty much it as far as the binder. Now, what the things that you want to keep in your binder that help you when you're in the store is you're going to want a small calculator in case you're trying to figure out something. The other day I was in the store and they had a deal where I get $10 worth of merchandise and I, or $30 worth of merchandise and I get $10 back in a gas card. Well, I'm trying to calculate that $30. Some of the items I didn't have, I had to substitute other items and I didn't have my calculator. So make sure you bring a little calculator in case you have to add those things up. A little stapler. A little stapler because when they are out of a product, I will ask for a rain check. Um, when you get your rain check, let me see if I have one here, show you how I do that. When you get your rain check, take your rain check, take your coupons that you brought, and tear out the little ad in the, the store flyer so that you know. Sometimes, you know, a couple weeks will go by and you forget. Staple all that together and then put it in a little envelope. Uh, in this binder over here, these are mainly for things like that and store coupons. I have categories of Walgreens coupons, so any of the store coupons for Walgreens that I printed out, I put them in here. Uh, Target, same thing. Walgreens had a booklet. I just went ahead and tore the pages out, three-hole punched it, and put them in here. Um, over here I have all my Target coupons. I print them up online, I stick them in here. You don't want to mix all this stuff up because these are competitor coupons and you can stack them with the uh, manufacturer coupons. That's why I separate those. These are pretty much manufacturer. These are pretty much your store coupons. Separate them. And 
Uh, scissors, you wanted a little pair of scissors because remember how I told you to over here to print those in whole pages? Say you're in the store and uh, you, you find something that you did not, didn't even think that you were going to get. So you need that coupon, but there's three on that sheet. You can take your scissors, cut that one coupon off, and then leave the other two still on there. So a pair of scissors, uh, a pen, so that if you need to write something down, you're calculating. Um, a little stapler, a calculator pen, and envelopes. I save these envelopes when I get, uh, say, a bill comes in, maybe your credit card statement, and they have that to mail it in. But you pay online, so you can save these envelopes. And when I get my coupons all in order, I'll write on there like Walgreens coupons when I'm going to go to the store. I've got my list, I've got my flyer, and I've got my coupons. This is what I put them in. That way I'm not using up a lot of envelopes that I had to pay for. Re reuse these. So, And another uh, good tip is when you have your binder, and remember how I showed you how to print those on the same page? Uh, when those expire, you can reuse this paper, turn it over, put it in your printer, and print a new stock of coupons on there. So that's how you get your binder together. And you store your coupons. Your manufacturer ones get stored here. And then your store coupons get stored in this one. Now, another thing that I do is when I get rain checks, I put them in this little zip-up pouch when I'm at the store. That way when I get home, I can pull these out and organize them like how I told you over here. This is my CVS area, so if I have CVS rain checks, I'm going to go ahead and put them in these little pouches here. But when you're standing in the store and you're, they're handing you all this stuff, you really don't have time to sit there and organize. So put them in that little pouch right there on the front, and when you get home, you'll be able to organize them. Um, just a little quickie, just a little quick video. So if you need to know more, I do have other videos that are more in length on the uh, video, the tab all the way at the top where it says learn how to with videos. So you might want to go in there and watch those. But come back tomorrow. We're going to have, what is it, four? Day four? We're going to have day four. And we'll see you tomorrow.